In Colombia's capital, Bogotá, a number of different social sectors continue demonstrating in support and solidarity with the indigenous peasant and Afro-descendant communities mobilizing across the rural areas and roads of the country amidst an agrarian strike. The strike has entered its 10th day amidst a strong repression from security forces. Over 120,000 people are currently mobilizing in both the countryside and the cities. And that is important to make clear that the strike is not just in the rural areas, but it is a nationwide strike aimed to demand a dignified living condition in all territories. In terms of mobilization, the balance is positive. People continue in good spirits under the conviction that the current model must be confronted. Leaders of the strike have called for international protection from the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights after 171 demonstrators have been arbitrarily detained, at least 200 injured and three more killed over the course of the rural protest. Several sectors have criticized that while the government speaks about peace, on the other hand it declares war to the social movements. The government committed to give human rights guarantees for the protesters, but just the day after, continued repressing and multiplying the use of force against the community. This generates lots of doubts regarding the commitment that the government really has towards constructing peace. Peace is not just the negotiations in Havana. It also has to do with these sort of processes in which people demand what is needed to live. That is peace construction. During a similar rural strike in 2013, dozens of demonstrators were also killed, injured and detained. Since then, the government has been committing to a series of measures and economic incentives to tackle poverty in the countryside and develop the agrarian sector. However, rural organizations denounce that three years later, those commitments have not been fulfilled, triggering the current strike. Development in Colombia's countryside has not been articulated to the realities of our peasants. This has prevented the peasant communities, which are so important for the development and sustainability of the Colombian society, from getting the benefits and conditions they need to achieve good results. While renewed demonstrations in Bogotá have already been announced, over 150,000 truck drivers have also joined the strike, protesting on fulfilled commitments from the government as well as the increase on gas and tax road prices. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.